Hello and welcome to this video of BigQuery SQL based machine learning. And in this video, we're going to talk about deep neural net regressor, DNN regressor. In the previous videos, we talked about linear regression as well as XGBoost regressor. In this video, we're going to use the same data that we used for XGBoost regressor. So let's look at first what data are we going to use to create a deep neural net model on BigQuery using SQL. So we're going to use sales data set, which can be found under BigQuery public data, Iowa liquor sales dot sales. If you want to find out how to access this BigQuery public data, please watch my other BigQuery do it yourself tutorials. Make sure that you are friendly with this data, you know this data and write some queries, understand what data it is. With that said, let's focus on creating a deep neural net model, regressor model now. So as in with other cases, the syntax is create or replace model, the name of the model, DNN sales. Options, model type, DNN regressor. These are hyperparameters, hidden units. So if you think of a neural net, you have layers of neurons which form that network graph. I'm gonna show you that in detail in the next slide too, but hidden units, I'm creating a neural net of 32 layers and four layers, and these are hidden layers. Number of iterations, the max number of iterations that I want this model to perform is 100. Learning rate is 0 0.1, the alpha, as well as the early stopping is true. If the model feels that the loss is not reducing by every epoch and the iterations, it's gonna stop the model training after it thinks that there is no significant reduction in the error. So, and, and the input label, the target column is bottles sold. Exactly the same query that I use for XGBoost. I am looking for county, weekdays, months, item, store name, pack, zip code, vendor number as my predictors and bottles underscore sold is my target variable. I'm gonna use this table with a date range from 2019, 0601 to 2020, 0601, one year of data. So let's go over to BigQuery and just run this model. The script can be available or made available using that Google Drive link, which is mentioned in the description section of the video below. You can use this script, run it on your own. I'm not gonna run it just because it takes a few minutes and I have already ran this model before. So you have MDL DNN sales. So MDL, MDL DNN sales is my model that I've already created using this particular create model query. Next, as we have done earlier, and this is how you would, so a quick introduction on the neural net. Um, you have features columns here, and then the target variable is your bottle sold, and you have 32 neurons like this and four here. It forms a network. In order to go very detailed, there's a TensorFlow do-it-yourself tutorials on the same channel. Please look at that. So once you run this model, you would create a DNN regressor model and there will be a statement saying that this is created. Next, let's evaluate the model. Again, the syntax remains the same. Select star from ml.evaluate model and the name of the model. Let's do that. So we will evaluate the model here. Click on run and you would see the mean square error, absolute error and R2 score and explain variance. We have used the same data as we used for XGBoost and just from a comparison sake, this model looks a little better. Again, you know there are a lot of things that you can do for tuning purposes, which we have not. The idea is to tell you how to create a BigQuery machine learning model. Next, once you are satisfied with the, the accuracy of the model, let's, or RMSE, 
let's run the predict so let's see what the predict the data is so this is how the example evaluate so to predict the from the model i'm going to use select star from ml.predict this is exactly the same process or steps that we did for our previous set of models so ml.predict model bigquery machine learning dot mdl dnn sales the name of the model comma the query which can be used for trade testing purposes please note that the dates i'm using the same table and based on the dates i was able to split the data for training and testing purposes for testing i'm going to use the data from the 2nd of june 2020 to september the 1st of 2020 and let's run this so click on run and that's how you start getting the results it's going to take a little bit and then you see the predicted bottles sold sold column over here and here on the right you would see the actual bottle sold so this is how the resultant for the prediction would be. And then in the next video, we are gonna use a very interesting auto ML regressor from Google. Let's talk about that in the next video. Thank you for watching.